For now, before we really get into the nitty gritty stuff, I just wanted to give you a quick tour of the Dialogflow CX interface. Just as a reminder, this is what Dialogflow ES looked like. It was mostly about the list of intents where you would design your conversation. You also had some other tabs here to edit your entities, etc. In Dialogflow CX, the first thing that uh, comes to attention is, of course, the visual flow builder here which makes the flow of the conversation a lot easier to understand. One of the things that I like is that you can rotate the orientation here, which sometimes can also help you. Uh, if you have uh, longer, um, your longer page names to understand what's going on. Uh, you have here your list of flows. Like I mentioned, flows are the components of uh, bigger chatbots where you can kind of branch out the conversation into different components. Uh, it doesn't matter if you use them or not, you will always have this one default flow here, which is the one we're seeing here. Then And then the building blocks of the conversation are here, the pages, they are the same in this list as they are here. So if you wanna edit one of them, you either click here or you click on the pages in the flow builder. The ones above the line here are the, the default pages. You will always have those. You can't delete them. Uh, so the start is, of course, where the conversation starts and the end is where they, where they end. Now, if you want to edit a part of the conversation, we can, for example, go here into the route and we can select our intent. Uh, we can also create a new intent here, which would then pop up in the list of intents like I said in the last video, we can reuse intents. That's why the nesting is like this. Now, if you want to edit your intents while also testing them, that's also possible. You just have to extend the panel here and you can start testing while still editing. And as you can see, the whole interface gets a bit crowded. So take your time to familiarize it, yourself with it. And I think then you we can start get going and create the first project